Hi, welcome back. In this lecture, I'll discuss Should you disable XML RPC on WordPress? I'll also review how to disable enable this feature in your site. You may have seen headlines proclaim WordPress XML RPC Brute Force Attacks Brute Force Amplification Attacks Brute Force Attacks Targeting Thousands of Blogs a hacker will make multiple login attempts with a single XML RPC call. So now we have to ensure we're protected against brute force attacks via XML RPC. In a typical brute force attack, several machines or bots try to guess the username and password for a site one at a time. In a brute force amplification attack, attackers can guess hundreds or thousands of combinations within a single request, making the attack more efficient and difficult to block. Let's say a hacker would try 500 different passwords. The attackers would need to attempt 500 different login attempts that would be captured in a one-to-one -one relationship with each request to the server. In this scenario, every single attempt is logged and can be blocked once a certain limit is reached. But with brute force amplification, what if the attacker could make it so that it's a one-to-many relationship between each request? Imagine a request that was able to try 500 passwords in one shot. Imagine a world where an attacker could amplify their brute force attacks. Instead of 500 different login attempts, the attackers could reduce their login attempts to say 20 or 50 and still try 500 or even thousands of passwords to each request. Now the hacker can employ brute force amplification attacks via WordPress XML RPC. The XML RPC is used for good things, so like any feature, hackers will find a way to use it for bad things. Before you attempt to disable XML RPC on a WordPress install, you should understand what does it do. WordFence has a clear explanation. XML RPC on WordPress is actually an API or application program interface. It gives developers who make mobile apps, desktop apps, and other services the ability to talk to your WordPress site. The XML RPC API that WordPress provides gives developers a way to write applications for you that can do many of the things that you can do when logged into WordPress via the web interface. These include publish a post, edit a post, delete a post, upload a new file, example, an image for a post, get a list of comments, edit comments. If you disable the XML RPC service on WordPress, you lose the ability for any application to use this API to talk to WordPress. As an example, if you have an app on your phone that lets you publish posts, moderate comments, or delete comments, and you decide to disable XML RPC on your WordPress install, you can no longer communicate with your website because you disabled this API. You have a few options in terms of whether or not you should disable XML RPC. You do not have to disable XML RPC if you have WordFence installed. There is a free version. It will protect against brute force via XML RPC. In this scenario, it's not necessary to disable XML RPC. If you do opt to disable XML RPC, you must be careful because you are disabling a major API in WordPress. However, you may feel better knowing that you've disabled XML RPC, so there are plugins in the official WordPress repository that can do that for you. You can go directly to the repository. 
you can do a search from WordPress Plugins Dashboard, Disable XML RPC. If you have Jetpack, Jetpack Protect blocks brute force amplification attacks. Jetpack comes with a module called Jetpack Protect. That protects sites from brute force attacks. If you use Jetpack Protect, you don't need to do anything to block this attack vector. It all comes down to how you use your WordPress installation. Some would rather be safe than sorry. If you don't use the XML RPC, then you should be fine. In my situation, I don't use the API, so I'll disable it with Security Pro. With the Security Pro plugin installed, this is how you disable XML RPC. So now I've logged into my site and I can see right off the bat that I've been protected from 37 attacks. I'll temporarily whitelist my IP. Now I will disable the XML RPC. Okay, here's the XML RPC. Currently it's off. I will completely disable it. Save the changes. That's it. We're done. That's all you need to do with the Security Pro settings.